guys. Let me pause this. <laughs> so, well, uh, it's going to be my first live stream in a long while. And to make it official, Volume 3 has just started. And we're now going to call the phone tab diaries the vertical diaries. Okay? You heard it first here on YouTube. Kaya kung subscriber ka, swerte. Now, I'd like to um, uh, talk about this read, this uh, read of the month of mine. Acres of, Diamond, Acres of Diamonds by Russell Conwell. Jeffrey Gittimer uh, mentioned this in one of his uh, in one of his li in one of his own live streams, uh, I think last week. And well, basically, it's a uh, it's a book about seeking opportunities in your hometown first, right? <clears throat> Russell Conwell was a um, was a was a Civil War veteran in the U.S. Okay. He made his fortune actually by through speaking engagements this book was actually the speech the first speech he gave after uh, after civil war stint now basically the book um, teaches us on how to how to seek financial opportunities first in your in your place of residence right this book has been relevant as of late because of the you-know-what, the virus, the pandemic. Here, I strongly suggest you get a copy of this book. Okay. I would, I strongly suggest you get a hard copy of this book because, well, it's as timeless as it is. What did I learn from this book? Well, basically, if you want to, um, if you want success, you have to go out there and look for opportunities. But, look for them here in your hometown first. Where, 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 where you live, where you work, because that's where it all starts. Okay. The, what you call this? The modest start, uh, I should say. So that's, uh, uh, that's basically the gist of the book. I strongly suggest you get a copy. Okay. You get a copy of that book and read it. Okay. Opportunities, well, tell you the truth, opportunities do not knock. Okay. They don't get in front of you on their own. You have to go out there. You have to get your ass off your chair and look for them. Okay. Don't believe in the cliche that opportunity knocks once. You, um, you ignore this opportunity. It can, it can show itself. It can show itself to you. It can show itself to you again later. As long as you're doing the work, as long as you're actually looking for that opportunity. So why start elsewhere than your place of work or your place of residence? basically what the book says now for the details again buy a copy okay so that's the lesson i learned from acres of diamonds news has just come out uh, this morning maria reza has been convicted of cyber libel so sentenced to six years i say you know minimum that's the minimum for cyber libel here in the Philippines. Good riddance. Rappler is done because of that. <clears throat> and you know, what pissed me off at Rappler was their video video of Maria Ressa interviewing this. Um, she called it. And then, uh, Maria Ressa being interviewed by a foreign media outfit regarding the closure of ABS-CBN and she told that reporter she told the interviewer that ABS-CBN has 11 million employees what the fuck <clears throat> that 
sa total lie. Wala pang 1 million employees ang ABS ang ABS-CBN Group. All right? Ano sila? In order to have 11 million employees, you should you should have monopolized that industry. With today's <clears throat> Okay, with today's technology and uh, monopolies being looked down upon these days, 11 million employees is not possible. It's impossible. It's totally impossible to have to have a company with 11 million employees these days. Okay? That in itself, that in itself, right? Rappler has been lying to us all this time. Has been dragging the internet to the mud. Kaya, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I think the Supreme Court has already ruled that libel is not protected speech. Okay? Thank you, Philippine judicial system, for, uh, what you call this? For giving that media company its due. Thank you so much. Rappler has been delivering fake news since it started, and most of all, it's it's been proven by the SEC, by the Philippine SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, that it is uh, that it is partly foreign owned. It is against Philippine law to have a to, for a media company to be foreign owned. It's illegal here. Tapos sila foreign owned. Rappler has, well, this is my theory, huh? it's a conspiracy theory. Rappler has been pursuing those foreign investors' interest from the start by lying to us. By lying to us regarding the news. So why should I, I am, I don't believe them anyway, okay? I have no faith in Rappler and uh, and uh, due to Maria Reza's debacle regarding ABS-CBN's number of employees, I am pissed off. They are dragging freedom of speech to the mud. They are dragging internet freedom to the mud and thank you so much. Rappler has gotten its due. Alright? So, with this conviction, with Maria Reza's conviction, Rappler is done. I just uh, listened to, well, this morning, uh, I listened to Deepak Chopra's uh, webinar on LinkedIn. Man, the guy's, the guy's really old, but he still has, he still has that patent wisdom, right? Now, there was this... Um, there was this lady who commented that uh, uh, do humans still uh, in, in, in the uh, something to the effect that do humans still evolve at a time like this? I commented well, I commented back I, I replied to that comment well should everything be that should everything be fast? <laughs> alright now, <clears throat> humanity, right? Humanity has has been evolving for the last five hundred thousand years, at least. Okay, at least five hundred thousand years. <clears throat> it took humanity five hundred thousand years at least to get to this point. We've got. Uh, it's gone through a lot, a lot of wars, <clears throat> a lot of carnage, a lot of disease, a lot of pestilence, a lot of politics. Why pick up the pace now? Right? Humans weren't meant to evolve pretty fast. Okay? We're not insects. Sorry, excuse me. We're not insects. We're not even animals. So we evolved slowly. Now, if your faith doesn't allow you to um, doesn't allow you to believe in Darwin's theory of evolution, 
stop watching this. Okay? The universe has a way of making humanity evolve. Alright? It, it it was a long process, but look at where we look at uh, look at me where humanity is now. The uh, the conflicts are still there. The uh, the issues are still there. But we are still the dominant race. We are still the dominant race, and we continue to evolve because we are following a slow but sure process. Okay. So, well, humanity has evolved a lot. Why pick up the pace now? I'm just here <clears throat> in the living room, just chilling, right? relaxing. <clears throat> Well, I almost never, uh, I almost never made this video. <laughs> I almost never made this entry, but I just gotta tell you guys. Okay, I just gotta tell you Instagram that content creation should not be a hassle. Okay, it should not be a hassle. To, it has to flow naturally, like what I'm doing right now. Okay, what I'm doing right now. The more you relax. The more focused you may become. You know, naman yun eh, right? If you're becoming too focused on something, time out. Okay. Time out. You need to relax sometimes. Okay, and right now I'm just sitting here. I just, I just read another three pages from Russell Conwell's acres of diamonds and I just stopped at three four maybe five pages and still no ideas come out <laughs> it's in this time of relaxation that I got the idea already for for this uh, for this entry All right so yeah I, you need to relax sometimes I okay? mean if Excuse me. See? Okay. I'm relaxed. <laughs> if I'm yawning, that means I'm relaxed. Okay. Like Papa Yako. Rest mood. So, yeah. It's. If you get too focused on something, you just sit somewhere and just relax. Okay. Put your eyes. Uh, put your eyes on something far away. Uh, until you until you get drowsy, right? If you have to, right? If you have to, because well, it just pays to relax. I just had a decision not to not to post any more original content on Reddit. Well, here's why. The community there is underappreciative of orig when it comes to original content. Okay, they would rather they prefer they prefer to see to see links to uh, uh, yeah. Links to other links to other posts, right? They would rather well, to the ones posting there. They would rather uh, click on backlinks. Okay, this is what I've been observing as of late when it comes to Reddit. Now, um, yeah, none of my entries there have been either upvoted or even downvoted okay no one no one's engaging so hence my uh, conclusion hence my observation it's not worth uh posting original content reddit is not 
a platform for original content. Okay? Lalangawin ang original content ninyo. You would rather stick to mediums like, well, TikTok, YouTube, IGTV. Right? IGTV is more, uh, the IGTV users are more responsive than the Reddit users. Okay? When it comes to, they're more appreciative of original content than, uh, than Reddit. Twitter, right? Of course, uh, you still have Facebook. You can do it there. They're more appreciative. Reddit is uh, more of a repository of links. Okay, it's a uh, it's more of a drop-off point for links than original content, the native content. Okay, posting natively there is. It's uh well it's demoralizing. Okay. You don't want to you don't want to post your original content there. Don't waste time. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not wasting my time anymore. I'm not wasting my time in, anymore in posting original content on Reddit. Now if the community there wants links, give it to them. Give it to them. It'll actually uh, support uh, if you're a video creator like me it will actually support your video content it's a it's a great way to promote video content okay? I've proven that I've proven that but overall don't post original don't post your don't post native content on reddit it won't do any uh, it won't perform well uh, like I've like I've experienced again never post native content on reddit i just received uh well i just browsed to through facebook and i found out that my account has been reinstated yay or so i thought here's the story <clears throat> so after a um after a minor security check, I was able to get in. First thing I did was to search for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Philippines Facebook group. Okay, they, they're only confined to Facebook. Well, I, I hope they get, I hope they put that into other platforms. But anyway, their, uh, uh, their main address is Facebook. Okay. So I uh, rejoined the group after, because after being disabled, uh, and I made a new account, so I had to rejoin. <clears throat> then set the um, did something to the privacy set privacy settings and settings to the account that in such a way that it's totally private. You won't see my feed. You won't see. You won't even see my username anywhere on the net except if I give it to you. Except if I give you the the link to my face to my Facebook profile. That's the only way. And well, uh, it doesn't have any friends yet, so took took to find friends, and boom, I saw my mother's account. So I sent the friend request. The people you may know screen came out, and I said okay. <clears throat> so I sent the friend request again, and bulaga, my account has been disabled again so I had to submit a picture of me the picture that I used on the new account okay that's the, that's the one I sent so report report okay I will be back in your report but due to coronavirus but due to the coronavirus um, it may not be entertained okay that's that's uh, that's what didn't piss me off. What pissed me off was I only said I was only trying to send a friend request to my own mother and my account gets disabled. What the fuck, FB? What the fuck? Up to now, in these times of crisis, you are still too strict for your own good. Okay? Go fuck yourself, Facebook. Go fuck yourself. I was only trying to send a friend request to my own mother's account. 
And you disable and you disable mine again? What the hell? You know, DTube, Facebook is now just a um it's now just a shadow of what it was what it once was five years ago, at least. Okay? That's why I don't promote my brand or my business there. Well, until such time that it was disabled again. Okay, twice. It has been disabled. It has been disabled twice. Let's be clear on that. Disabled the second time because I just sent a friend request to my mother. There's only one lesson learned here. Okay. Facebook is pulling our legs. That's just it. You know, a lot of independent social networks have are have been coming out since uh, or well, since this year alone, and it further it for uh, it more of those independent social platforms have been launched during this crisis. I strongly suggest YouTube that you should get an account there. All right, you should get an account there. Facebook is not the be-all and end-all of social media. Matter of fact, I've been I've been saying this for the past two years or so. They have outlived their usefulness. Okay, they're only they only exist because of investor confidence. Okay, well, as you know, they're listed on the stock exchange, so they have to satisfy investors. Okay. They do not care about their users right now. They don't give a fuck. So, well, there's only one party shot for me right now. Facebook has pulled my leg. mind mode like this this kind of a setup uh, I'm using a laptop table so it can be on it can be on a desk it can be on the, in my bed well, it's actually designed for bed for bedside laptop all right so there goes my choice of words again <clears throat> well mastermind mode is the coin uh, as a coin sorry it's the term coined by Alex Becker it, he used it to describe the um, the mindset that uh, someone uses to uh, well, to to feed his mind, feed his or her mind, like uh, watching educate, watching educational YouTube videos, reading books, and even listening to audio, okay, or even live stream while doing it. All right. <clears throat> It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really catchy term, mastermind mode. He, well, if you're not familiar with the word mastermind, uh, it means, uh, it means sometimes that you you belong to a group where you, um, where you brainstorm, where you brainstorm marketing ideas, brainstorm network, and you you network with your peers. You're you're a tight, you're a, you're a, a really close group. So, kayo kayo lang yung nag-network, kayo kayo lang yung nag, uh, nag-brainstorm. Okay, that's called the mastermind group. Now, of course, Alex Becker coined the term mastermind mode when you're, uh, when you're constantly feeding your mind for hours on end. Okay. I give myself a schedule.
or mastermind mode, yeah, in case some of you don't know. My schedule is, well, Thursday and it ends tonight, Saturday. Okay. I need to do an I need to do my episode review for my other channel. That's why I am um, rushing this. <laughs> but it, it's a good way to uh, it's a good way to feed your mind without uh, without much multitasking. You, you may be multitasking, but for mastermind mode, <laughs> So yeah, you guys should uh, try incorporating mastermind mode in your weekly in your weekly schedule give yourself at least three days to um, to take it all in and well most especially the youtube the other uh, videos you want to watch the educational videos you want to watch you should uh you should uh, a lot at least three days right uh, i do it three days you can, but actually if you're if you're just starting out uh, card one day muna. One day for mastermind mode. Itigil lang kayo for, well, for sleep. Of course, you have to eat. You have to do bathroom breaks, of course. You have to do bathroom breaks. And uh, if, a sales, if, a, uh, if you need to follow up on a client or uh, a team member, if you're into network marketing like me, you're not going to a mastermind mode. You're going to put it on hold muna. Kaya mas importante yun. Alright? So, yeah. <laughs> mastermind mode in bed. Approved.